On October 6, 1981, Egyptian President Anwar Sadat was assassinated during a military parade in Cairo. This event was a pivotal moment in Egyptian and Middle Eastern politics. The assassination occurred on the anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, a conflict in which Egypt and Syria had attacked Israeli positions. This day, meant to honor Egypt's military achievements, instead became one of national tragedy. During the parade, a truck carrying military personnel stopped near the reviewing stand where Sadat sat with foreign dignitaries and military leaders. Several men, led by Lieutenant Khalid Islambouli, emerged from the vehicle. They approached the platform and opened fire. They also used grenades in the attack. Islambouli and the others were members of an extremist group, Al-Jihad. They opposed Sadat's policies, particularly his signing of the Camp David Accords and Egypt's peace treaty with Israel in 1979. Sadat was struck by bullets and shrapnel, and he was pronounced dead hours later. Eleven others were also killed, and over 20 were wounded. Vice President Hosni Mubarak, who was seated next to Sadat, survived the attack and soon became Egypt's president, ruling for near 30 years until his removal during the 2011 Egyptian Revolution. The assassination highlighted the internal divisions in Egypt, particularly between the government and Islamist groups, setting the stage for future tensions. Sadat's legacy remains controversial. He is remembered for pursuing peace with Israel, but his policies alienated many Egyptians. These are Interesting Things with J.C.